Hey everybody, my name is Pete, and today I'm walking you through some live examples of the hash null and hashtag error in Microsoft Excel and their solutions. Feel free to use the timestamps in the progress bar below to jump to the section that's most relevant to you, and let's get started. The first cause of the hash null error in Microsoft Excel is a missing comma. And so in this instance, we're summing two separate ranges and the formula is generating a hash null error. And that's because you need a comma to separate out when you're summing two different ranges. So when you add a comma, the formula works as expected and the hash null error is removed. The second cause of the hash null error is a missing colon. And so as you can see here, we are calculating the average of a range of cells but it, the formula is generating a hash null error, and Excel requires a colon to separate out the first and last value of a range of cells. And so when you enter the colon and you click enter, the hash null error is removed and the formula starts working as expected. The next cause of the hash null error in Excel is a missing numerical operator. So in this instance, we're trying to calculate operating income. And when you type in the formula, Excel generates a hash null error, and that's because there's a missing subtraction sign. So uh, there's a space instead of a subtraction sign, and when you add that subtraction sign, the formula works as expected, and the hash null error is removed. The last cause of the hash null error in Excel is using the intersect formula. And so as you can see here, we're trying to find an intersection between product XYZ and December, and when you enter this formula, it generates a hash null error. And that's because these two ranges don't actually intersect. So when you try to use the intersect function with two ranges that don't intersect, Excel is going to generate a hash null error. And so what you need to do is make sure the ranges intersect. And so when I expand this range to a point where they do intersect and click to enter, the, the hash null error is removed and the formula is fixed. The first cause of the hashtag error in Excel is because the contents of the cell are wider than the width of the cell itself. And so here are a couple different ways to make the content fit into the cell. The first way is to just expand the width. So click on the right edge of the cell and expand it until the formula or number shows. In addition, you can also double click and Excel is going to automatically expand the width to where the contents fit. The second thing that you can do is decrease the number of decimals that you're displaying. And so you can just click that until the, the contents of the cell fits because you're decreasing the number of decimals displayed. The next thing that you can do is you can use Excel's native functionality in format cells called shrink to text. And so by clicking this button, Excel's automatically going to shrink the contents to fit the cell in the column width that you've got there. The last thing that you can do is take advantage of the different built-in date formats that Excel has. So up here in the Home tab, you can see that there's a short date and a long date. And when you click on short date, Excel's going to shorten the date format that you've got, and short date can help you fit your contents into the cell width that you have selected. The last cause of the hashtag error in Excel is a negative date or time. Excel will display the hashtag error when your formula calculates a negative date or time. And so in this instance, we're subtracting 8 p.m. from 12 p.m. and that's creating a negative time in Excel's providing the hashtag error. So switch up the order of operations to make sure that you're generating a positive date or a positive time. As you can see here, the hashtag error is removed and the formula works as expected. Thanks so much for tuning in. Let me know in the comments section what was causing your hash null or hashtag error. Just click subscribe so you can stay up to date on all of my videos. Click the thumbs up button if you learned something today. It really helps me out. And lastly, check out the link in the description for a set of practice data that you can use to implement all the solutions we just covered. Thanks so much.